We have some cool weather in the forecast across most of southeastern Asia. A classic cold surge is continuing to set up here and all the way from uh, Thailand to Cambodia to Vietnam to yeah, northern Luzon. We have temperatures that could be dropping into the teens, even uh, single digits back towards the north and Taiwan and also over towards Hong Kong as well. So everybody's issuing these local weather warnings at this time and it's all thanks I mentioned to this cold surge, high pressure moving in out of China. We have a low scoot across Japan. It's that interaction that's going to break off and allow those gradient-induced winds to push down towards the south. I'm also talking about, as the title suggests, an area of low pressure over the Philippines. And this is bringing plenty of rainfall here. The interaction between that surge and that little area here, not a typhoon by any means, but the interaction is going to continue to bring some heavy rains across parts of Visayas and northern Mindanao as well. So let's talk about this. Here's the setup. High pressure towards the north, those tight gradient induced winds, gusty conditions from Okinawa towards Taiwan, down towards southeastern China, and yet northern areas of Luzon could see, be seeing gusts upwards of 40 to even 80 kilometers per hour gust that is with this. That means with that cool air filtering into places like northern areas, uh, Kagan Valley, higher elevations, I do believe, actually could be looking at temperatures Look at this in the darker blue. Yeah, 11 to 12 degrees at times. I know other places in the world, if you're in Japan, you're thinking 11 to 12, not bad. Gotta remember, most people out here, they don't have heaters. Uh, a lot of people do sleep outside or at least sleep with windows open. Uh, it does create some very brisk and chilly conditions at the very least. So uh, even low teens, uh, single digits, impactful. Uh, here as far as the forecast is concerned. All right, so the leading edge of this though, we do have that surge continue to come by. Then we have our low pressure area down here towards the south. And I know a lot of people uh, out here in southeastern Visayas, uh, parts of uh, Samar, late day, northern Mindanao, you're, you're still recovering from the floods, by the way. Last week, when this area of low pressure came through, well, this one, similar. Not a tropical depression, low pressure area. Um, actually being designated a trough by the latest warning from Bagasa. But regardless, uh, I do think this is still going to be continuing to be a rainmaker, not only today, but it's slowly working west and it's going to continue to interact with that surge and thus continue to bring additional rainfall. Let's actually go back here. This is by Friday morning. Just kind of have that flow, heavier showers here. This continues to linger and thus we get some areas, I mean, uh, Red is 50 to 100 millimeters. These darker colors over the next five days indicating well over 500 millimeters possible in uh, southeastern areas of Luzon. And that is if that surge sets up, we have our low pressure area and that interaction is going to create some heavier showers right along that line in there. So I, I do truly think we're going to be looking at flood warnings possible just because of the persistency of this line interacting with that surge. And you can really just see it right in there heavier areas of rainfall. All right, so that's the extended outlook here, but let's take a look ahead in the next week. <clears throat> As we go ahead, mid-January through 18th, 19th, this goes all the way out to the 19th. Yeah, look at the Climate Prediction Center. They do indicate the chance, chance that is, but a still a moderate chance, confidence, of something forming out here in the Western Pacific. Now, could just be a tropical depression, but long range guidance does continue to indicate something like that. The Western Pacific Oscillation is starting to try to pull towards a negative phase, beginning kind of a lax and sheer. Could also indicate to us the chance of tropical development on top of that. So, hey, there's a few things going on here that I'm keeping an eye on in the long range. But I think right now, as far as the short range is concerned, heavier rainfall, cold air continuing to sweep in. That's going to bring that chance of floods across parts of Visayas. Not to mention, that cold air is also impacting, yeah, southern Japan, Taiwan, even bring some decent snowfall into the higher elevations across parts of Honshu over towards Hokkaido for those skiers as well. All right, thanks for watching though. Stay safe out there. And yeah, as always, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, just um, let me know. Bye.